Hello there, I'm Gerard. This is the part 2 of the Terracotta Warriors or Emperor Chin series. If you haven't watched the first video, it is linked up here. Go check it out. If not, let's get into it. Like I said in the first video, you should really, really visit this place at least once in a lifetime because this is one of the most interesting things ever unearthed. Well, throughout the course of human history. There are people who know about it, there are people who don't know about it, there are people who know half about it, and there are people like me who always thought that the Terracotta Warriors were made out of real humans. Freaking movies, damn it. The Terracotta Warriors were hand-picked elite warriors to guard the Empress Tomb. Disclaimer. No real humans were harmed during the makings of these Terracotta Warriors. In a sense, that, well, they were not made out of humans. But in fact, humans were harmed in the making of Terracotta Warriors. Everybody back then who knew about the Terracotta Warriors and the tomb were killed after everything was finished. That is to ensure that the secret stays a secret. Initially, the Emperor actually planned to bury all 8,000 Terracotta Warriors with him. Alive! Imagine the horrors of being buried alive. But then, luckily for them, they manage to convince the emperor. Well, if you kill us, if you bury all of us in there with you, then there will be no one on this side of the world when you die to well protect or guard your tomb. No? But say you spare our lives and we guard your tomb from here, and then you can make like play warriors so to to guard you on the other side of the world. Sounds like a deal. Cool. The Terracotta Army of the Qin Dynasty is the most famous one throughout the course of Chinese history. There are other Terracotta Warriors for other dynasties. For example, these are from the Han Dynasty. It is so small. I do have to mention that the Qin Dynasty is the only dynasty where the Emperor asked to make life-size Terracotta Warriors. The other thing that you're gonna notice is that all of them faced east. That is because back then the Qin state is located on the very west side of China. Everybody else is on the east. So all his enemies were from the east. So all the Terracotta Warrior Army, all of them, each and every one of them, the formation will be facing east. The average height of the Terracotta Warriors is somewhat close to 6 feet. They weigh around 150 kilograms to 300 kilograms, and the tallest one of them is, uh, well, 2 meters tall, 202 centimeters to be exact. And I thought people back then were malnutrition and they'll be shorter or something. Terracotta warriors originally had colors. Yes, they originally had colors. They were bright and colorful. Every single warrior actually have different armor plates, they have different colored clothing. It was supposed to be beautiful. That is also why they stopped unearthing them. They are a total of 8,000 terracotta warriors and they only unearthed 2,000 of them. They stopped because they didn't have the technology to prevent the oxidization. Oxidization. Oxidizing. Oxy. Oxidation of the Terracotta Warriors. Upon unearthing the Terracotta Warriors, in something less than 20 seconds, they lose all their colors. Speaking of different colors and different attires, each and every one of them with different attires actually have different positions on their battlefield. For example, of course, they are going to be generals, and then they are going to be foot soldiers, they are going to be horseback riders, and they are going to be uh, kneeling archers. So, um, yeah, every single one of them have different armors. And those with no armors, those are the interesting ones. Those are actually prisoners on a death sentence. They are actually on the battlefield to claim back their freedom. They just need to kill one enemy and then they are free. I do find it funny that, well, if it's really a battlefield, I understand if you like face the prisoners on the front line and then you can just let them charge themselves to their death and all that, but this is the Terracotta Warriors, that means that you actually handpicked prisoners and then make a clay double of them and bury them with you. 
Anyway, I hope you find this video very helpful. If not very helpful, little helpful. And if you do, the like button's down there, you know what to do. Hook it, press it. And if it's your thing, which is really my thing, give it a hug, come on in. Oh. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I put up contents like this weekly, sharing my journey, my experience, traveling, just so that you can have a better experience when you travel to the same spots that I do. Don't forget to ring the ding dong bell and leave a comment down below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Ciao.